All right, CNT 125, Chapter 12, Layer 1 Technologies for WANs. We're looking at DSL now. DSL, Digital Subscriber Line. Again, another WAN connection method, Layer 1, introduced by Bell Labs in the 90s, operates over your phone network. Uh, this was competing with cable broadband and even T1 services in its day. I'll say in its day. Um, it's still used, uh, but a lot of places have moved beyond this technology, just as kind of a little side note. Uh, this supports data and voice channels over a signal, single line. That was the good, that was the big benefit, because again, with your dial-up modems, uh, your dial modem was basically a uh, phone line that you either used as a phone line or a data line. So come, come on, um, along comes DSL, I now have a phone line that I can share. I can actually put data and phone across the same phone line. That's a huge advantage. That's a huge, huge plus. Um, can actually span a pretty good distance, limited, but pretty good distance without use of repeaters. That helps with your data transmission. Um, the distance does affect the throughput that the customer gets. The closer you are, a little, little bit better throughput you get. Um, that's one of the things, if you remember, uh, connecting to a DSL, many times you would actually run a loop test from your house to the CO and they'd let you know the distance and let you know whether it was available or not based on that distance. You would see, you would check to see if it's available and was not. It was usually because of a distance issue. Um, uses data modulation techniques in layer one. What's actually going to happen is what, um, your voice and data is going to get yeah yeah your voice and data is going to get multiplexed onto the phone line. So to get that to, to sort that out in our brain, we have to remember that our phone line uh, handles voice traffic really only in the 300 to 3300 hertz signal range. Uh, our voices, uh, our recognizable human speech, is really in the 300 hertz to 3300 hertz range. Any other frequencies outside of the range we cannot hear. So the, the higher frequency across that line is kind of like wasted. It's unused. So what happens with DSL is that unused frequency range up top here, because here's your recognizable human speech, this 0 to 4,000 hertz, if you will. All this space up here is wasted. So DSL comes along and says, you know what, why don't we take and multiplex data into this higher frequency range that you can't hear anyway, uh, and leave this bottom range down here for voice, and we'll, and we'll use this upper frequency range up here for data. And that's the, that's the idea behind DSL. So there is a different types, different types of DSL, and they, they vary according to throughput rates, data modulation, etc. Uh, but overall, we refer to them as XDSL. Uh, and X is kind of like the variable. So you have ADSL, SDSL, VDSL, um, but they all fall into the category of XDSL as the is kind of like the umbrella term. So let's take a look at these real quick. ADSL, asymmetric DSL, faster download than upload. That's pretty common for users. I'm downloading more, a lot more data than I'm uploading. So a common uh, customer connection, if you will. And suited for users who receive more than they send, absolutely. Um, ADSL and VSDL create multiple narrow channels in the higher frequency range to carry more data. Yes. Um, so if I take a look, here's my recognizable human speech down here. Here's my upstream, just a little bit. And then my downstream, I have a lot more frequency bands up here for downloading. Um, and that's all in the, the, the device that's doing that is my uh, ADSL modem, if you will. Uh, one of the first things I need to do or deal with is a splitter. Uh, as the phone line comes in, I actually have a splitter here uh, for connecting to my phone line as well as to my data line, if you will. And typically, this kind of connection would occur. Coming on the phone outlet, I have a little splitter here. Um, my phone line connects to that, and the DSL modem connects to this, uh, and DSL modem would connect to my computer, if you will. Uh, and if I had just a DSL modem... Oops, I actually have that out here. I'll, I'll, I'll hit that in just a minute. If I have a DSL modem, it's just connecting to here, but I can also put a router here as well. We'll get to that um, when we talk equipment in just a minute. 
So ASD DSL, latest version is uh, ASD ADSL plus two or AS, ADSL two plus, uh, provides maximum throughput of uh, 24 meg and a upstream of three meg. So decent bandwidth levels, decent band levels. Uh, but I'm I'm limited to about two kilometers from the provider. Uh, that might be what that's was usually the kind of the hang up for if DSL was available in your area. VDSL, faster than ADSL, also asymmetric, carries about 50 to 60 meg down and about 5 to 10 meg up. I can get uh, 1.6 kilometers before dropping speeds. So again, I'm still kind of limited. Um, VDSL 2 offers throughput nearing 100 megs in both directions, but again, in, in it, it'll quickly drop off the, the, as the distances get longer. Um, if our uh, it, this basically met the need of businesses located close to the CO in a metropolitan area, so a lot of customers, a lot of houses would use ADSL. Businesses might be using your VDSL to get the more bandwidth that you would need. SDSL, symmetric DSL. Um, in this case, you would have equal up, upload and download. This might get used by the use the example of a bank branch office uploading data as well as downloading data yep this would be another business grade connection um, for for just that purpose connecting two branch offices together um, but you'll pay a little bit more because the symmetric same down as you have up so I was getting ahead of myself earlier here's your DSL equipment uh, the internet service provider has a D slam and a splitter to go out to all the customers once you get to the customer you have basically the opposite connection gear here well let's break this out a little bit so you have the ISP um, actually has or your provider your CO provider actually has equipment in here um, the connection coming in from houses comes into them to the D slam the D slam is going to pull those two signals apart the data is going to send out to the internet routers and switches and out to the internet meanwhile the phone is going to get sent to the phone switch to handle phone calls to the PSTN so the the central office actually has a almost like a demultiplexer to take those two signals apart the higher frequency band data gets pulled off and sent to routers and switches out to the internet that lower frequency band gets pulled off and sent to the CO switch out to the phone switch network if you will so that's happening at the CO and I think that's what they're even trying to show you here okay meanwhile on our end the signal coming into our house I am going to have uh, connections going to phones and to uh, my modem so here we have again the wall outlet uh, splitter coming in splits off phone splits off to modem into my PC so let's take a look at that a little bit closer there's a splitter up close and personal and here would be a sample of a modem um, so this would be the pieces of equipment used for basic connection and really if you connect it up to a DSL provider a lot of times they sent this stuff to you in a box with little instructions for you to hook it up yourself um, and this is actually almost identical to the modem I had when we had uh, a DSL in our house years ago and reminding you that phone line coming in from the provider here this modem's job is to take your computer data that's digital multiplex it into this higher frequency band analog signal to go across the wires to the phone company that's the job of that critter the splitter doodad here okay the job of it is to get rid of this higher frequency band that only the voice traffic is going to the phones uh, it's like a bandpass filter anybody studies it's study electronics all right so there was your DSL connection there was your DSL connection uh, many people use this for homes even businesses we'll come back in the next one and talk uh, cable internet